The year is 1975. Children like tanks and explosions, and so what they wanted for Christmas was Tank Command. It's a board game with some moving parts. And no dice! No dice. No dice at all. It's all strategy, apparently. <laughs> it's a glorified tug-of-war game. Yes. Really. In fact, not even that much glorified, mm. really. But you could tell how much fun the children are having on the front of the box over there, surely. Look at that. Look at his little face. <laughs> he's so excited he's gone blind. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> There's all these, these tank blasts shooting him out. Look, this kid's about to be hit in the eye with another tank blast. He, at least he can still see. The <laughs> full excitement hasn't sunk in yet. He hasn't gone blind like the other one. That is really quite frightening. He is so glassy-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. It's going to be all right, Billy. It's going to be all right. <laughs> oh, oops. No, it's not. There is no. <laughs> Quickly, look at the tagline before it falls off again. Command your own tank force in this strategic battle action game. Okay, then. And here's the tanks. Look, British tanks, German tanks. The German Panzerfoss. Yeah. Jawohl. It is the war of World War II. Yes. That was my German accent. Could you tell? It was. <laughs> Sounded all of Welsh, so never mind. Well, it's from the company Ideal, ages seven and up, two players, and yeah has a lot of tanks going on. It's one of those board games you used to see a lot in uh, jumble sales and things of the 1980s with yeah. all the bits missing. <laughs> it's a bit like a plunk where some sods yeah. chewed in all the sticks. That's it, and the ball's missing. Yeah. yeah. In fact, many parts were still missing from this board game. We've yeah. had to replace them with uh, cotton buds, as you will see later. Yeah. They're supposed to be shell counters. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at the board game itself. I've just spotted... Oh, on the side here, there's actually pictures of what appears to be Montgomery and Rommel or somebody <laughs> playing the board game. I don't know if you can make that <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced that was a real historical event. I think they used real tanks and real dead men. Well, it's a deleted scene from Patton. <laughs> <laughs> deleted scene from yeah. World War II. <laughs> Let's hide that away. Well, we got a lot of plastic tanks that look suspiciously like those ones you used to get with the little plastic army men. Yes. Um, and they're, the same, they're different models as well, which is quite nice. That's true, actually. Yeah, the German ones and the British ones, presumably based on real designs. Mm. They're not solid, by the way. Look, they are cheap, hollow, yeah. plasticky. But other than that... Loveliness, yes. They're beautiful. And we've got our own pillbox to hide behind as well. Yes, in case we'll see the graphics on that. It looks like a Dalek looking through a letterbox, but it's supposed <laughs> to be like a big cannon in an armoured pillbox. I'll take their word for that. What it does is shields each other's uh, next move from the opponent until a certain time. Because we have ten shells each, each is numbered, each can only be used once around, and you have to try and pick a higher number than the opponent, which causes the tanks to move. Well, you have to move the tanks, it's not so like magic. <laughs> it's a military version of play your cards right. right? <laughs> <laughs> so there's no Brucey oh, bonus. Yeah. <laughs> the Brucey bonus is you get to go home alive. Who did the bin? The man who is a thing! <laughs> well then, so we must each pick a number, and then somebody says fire, and we reveal. You actually say fire. Yes. You actually say no instructions, you have to say fire. Yes, so it doesn't say who says it though. Maybe there has to be like a third party. Oh, okay. It says fire. It's like the field marshal. So it's turning into paper, scissors, stone now, so we have to... Yeah, it's, it's basically a slightly more complicated <laughs> version. Of, it's as if you had ten different items, rather than um, just paper, rock and scissors. Right. Uh, I should point out that in the instructions, that about 70% of them are how to set up the board game. Yes, and it was really difficult. So there's basically bits of string holding under it. I don't know if you can see that there, and you have to pull them. And oh, what they call them? What they call them? In oh, the so your lanyard knob. So it's pull your lanyard knob, <laughs> which has provided endless amusement for both of us. Um, it does this, or potentially this. The idea is, eventually, if you pick your right numbers. The enemy tanks will go over a landmine and be flipped over, and hilarity ensues. Right, I'll, I'll go first and pick my okay. number. Ooh, manoeuvres. Yes, we are going to be excited there and pushed about all over the place. So, Excellent. Excellent. Right. So, okay, you go first. Tell me when you're done. How about you? Done. Okay. And done. Right. We have to say fire. Fire. Oh, so exciting. Oh god! <laughs> We've both gone for six. 
How does that demonstrate we so both we got exactly the same? You're thing. trying to psychologically outmaneuver me, but the, the most likely number that you go for at the beginning is a five because you'd win fifty percent of the time. Yeah, that was basically the thing. Uh, so you it. Thought, yeah. <laughs> so, so we both have to take. Out I was a actually section. I was going to go for five actually, but then I thought. Well, there you go, planning out the psychology. Got to play the percentages. That's what we have. <laughs> yeah, it's um, like a war game. It turned into a psychological sort of checkers chess. The problem here is, um, well, now it's a draw. Nobody moves, so nothing happens. So the first no, okay. go was a complete bust. So yeah, there you go. Well, the thing is, we both know we don't have a six anymore. Yeah. So uh, who goes? For, you want, okay, you go first again. Okay. Okay. Done. Done. Okay. You want to say ready? fire? Oh, sorry. Fire. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 the game of draws. So, yes, you're still trying to psychologically out of a new. I should have gone for eight, shouldn't I? I should have gone for eight. Yeah, I should have gone for eight. Well, obviously. <laughs> but then we both have yeah. gone for eight. <laughs> no, it's like, can we rewind this? Is there any chance? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so there you go. It's an exciting video, yeah, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? It's a game called... where nothing happens. Stalemate. It's, it's, like, it's more World War One yeah. than World War Two. Just sit in the trench and we're slowly we're starve. Well, it's close to Christmas. Should we start playing football in a minute? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be over by Christmas. It never bloody was. Right, close your eyes. I'm going again. Okay. You, are you going to go for eight? No. Okay. Or am I? Right, Oops. done. Okay. 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 Fire. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Finally, we differ. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to go for eight, and then uh, are you done that on purpose? You should. You done that on purpose, or did you? What? Let me. <laughs> I've did... psyched you out already. Well, I don't know. It's <laughs> just in my head. It's in my head. <laughs> it could be my innermost thought. So I gotta move forward. Thirteen. You add both the numbers together. Thirteen, and okay. you get to move your tanks thirteen forward. Okay, and there's a, there's a little sort of um. Yeah, scale of doom. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, I'm getting oh. dangerously close to a land mine already. Shall I pull my lanyard knob just to see? You can. Oh, oh. I've got to hang this back over. There we are. I mean, it's a bit warped, isn't it? Because it is. Uh, how old is it? 1975. It's. This is 2013, by the way, if you're watching this in the future. Yeah, on your holographic yes. space television. <laughs> yeah. um, you two's beaming into your brain. <laughs> <laughs> burning your synapses due to content ID matches. Yeah. <laughs> right. Don't use ad block, it'll give you brain cancer. <laughs> <laughs> we need to spread that. That's the only way we'll be able to eat next year. Right, close your eyes. Okay. Done. I like the way we've got covers that don't cover enough. That's yeah. just brilliant. Fire! Well, they weren't expecting men in their 30s. Oh, I don't they? bloody believe it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was five for both of us then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody wars, right. Up we go. Okay. Right. Are you ready? Done. Okay, I know you went for a high number because I heard the sliding noise. Yeah, you heard a sliding noise. Okay. It wasn't the sliding noise I was falsely putting in, or the real one. Go for it. That is a problem, actually, the sliding noise of the game in general. So you have to move it backwards and forwards a lot. To... Yeah. At least my peg, I could just lift, pick it up and down. That's true, yeah. You have an advantage. Okay. Okay. Fire. Hey. Look at Did that. Did you know I lost my nine then? Yes, of course, because you showed you took it early, didn't you? I yes. Mean, we both so you did, fired. So yeah. it, is, it is sort of let them remember. There was a bit of a strategy going on there. A str str strategy. There, 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 there. Yeah, okay. Right. I get to move forward. I was eight and you're nine. nine. That makes 17. 17. One, two, three. Eight. 13, 17, that's correct isn't it, yeah, Ooh. nowhere near the bloody landmines yeah. though, 
Do you want to try just engage, just to give me oh, a yes. warning shot? <laughs> <laughs> Any excuse to pull my lanyard, no? There we are, the... Uh, oh, well, it's got, it's got stuck. Floor violators. Okay. I'm done. I feel like that bloke from Pan's Labyrinth. <laughs> well, I did see you noshing on a fairy earlier. So. <laughs> That's not the sort of room I want to <laughs> Uh, that's slightly ambivalent phrasing there. Reveal your pillbox. Fire. Oh, oh no. But Larry's know. done the ten. I've done the ten, so I'm pretty screwed because you know I've lost all my big guns now. So Yeah. So you lie me, but I've lost my eight. And you get to move eighteen, 18. towards me. Okay. Remember that's eighteen and not the eighteen. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh. dangerously close. Ooh. That's cheating, you moved the thing. Okay. Well, okay, put it back now. Hold it down. Hold it down. For the violent explosion. Oh. Is that that count? I think that counts. Yes. <gasps> Billy the tank. I've sunk gone. your battle tank. <laughs> you, you've ascended my battle tank. Oh. That's a shame. But oh. the only way is up. As Yaz said, with you, the plos, plastic. Are you going to yeah, leave him on thing, a bit like. Um, da, da, da. Oh, salute okay. it. There <laughs> we are. It'd be like a graveyard in the background, like in cannon fodder, where you have to. <laughs> <laughs> that guy could be Stu. If Jules dies, I'm starting the level again. <laughs> right, excellent. Fire. Oh, that's a shame, so I've effectively wasted my 10 to a yes, certain extent. That can't be the worst. Yeah, that's the worst outcome for a ten. But then right. again, if I if you got a like five and a four, you'd be a nine. So there's a. Yep. Excellent. You're still nowhere near your landmines. I'm very disappointed by this. Oh, the lanyard near the landmines. Well, that's the lanyard near the <laughs> landmines. That sounds like a some sort of awful medieval literature novel. <laughs> right. Here we go again. All right. Your turn. Okay. And release a boo. Oh! <laughs> well, we've both got three. We've got three, but Another then again, three. you've got four. I've got four, four and got one, one. So, yeah, we're both. So I go four and five. Away. Exactly. Which is. Now, we've got a second go. round. Do we reset back to. No, we do not. That'd be a very boring game if we did reset, if you think about it. So you are drastically in the lead as we move into round two. Right, round two. Ding a ling a ling. I have already placed my. Oh, okay. Oh, I did it surreptitiously. Oh, I don't know why I'm looking away because I can't change mine now. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fire! Oh! Ooh. Seven and four makes 11. 112 down. I was having to cheat though. 11. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Things have moved slightly in my favour, but only slightly. Well, you're over the black line, really. You're over. <laughs> you've ah, you you've invaded no man's land. <laughs> That's where I left all my yoghurt. Fire. Oh no! He's gone for the nine. Ah, oh, eight, nine. Oh, that's a badness. So what number is that, ladies and gentlemen? Eight plus nine is 70. 70. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. 17. Yeah. 17 for you. This is not looking good. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm rubbing it in for you. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. No, seventeen. Se oh, sixteen, <laughs> seventeen. There we are. Oh dear. Well, I've definitely lost at least one. Okay, embrace the battle, field. Yeah. Pull the embrace the battle. Oh no! You got, got one tank left. Oh. I don't think it's possible for me to win now, is it? I need what? to surrender while I can still um, <laughs> yeah, well, you can negotiate join. good terms. You can become the Italian. 
<laughs> do you want to join? You got long chance to join me, or else I'm gonna hang your dictator from a sign outside a garage. Yeah. If it was Italian, the tanks would be facing the other way. No. <laughs> World War Two racist humour. Yes. Right. Well. Or xenophobic, really. You ready? Yes. Well, I've only got one. Oh, I've got. I've got, I've got a couple left. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look away. Oh, okay. Well, you well actually, it doesn't matter, does it? Doesn't matter. No. Well, bloody dear. There we are. You'll go. Oh, ten and two. Twelve, Twelve. to you. That is going to be enough to sink the last tank. Yeah, it's right back. Okay. Well, I'll... On the edge of the battlefield. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm, yeah. the numbers have run out now. So. Uh, Embrace the battlefield for your... <laughs> final explosion. Boom! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I almost pulled my lanyard knob off. <laughs> it looks like the same thing you have on the uh, light switch yeah. in the bathroom, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Well, that was um, humiliating. Yeah, you. I should have used the 10 then. It didn't matter by that stage. But look at that. Your entire fleet. No, fleet isn't right. That's like ships. What would it be? A battalion? Division. Division. Your division. entire division of tanks. <sighs> he's totally unscathed, apart from that dead one earlier. God knows yeah, what he's which doing. Which he completely, repeatedly made me run over. Yep, that was the plan. And all mine are dead. dead, 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 dead. Oh. Well, what have we learnt about war from this game, Larry? <laughs> it could be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned that apparently tank shells do absolutely nothing and you just have to get enemy tanks to reverse over landmines. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the war was won. I can see why um, nobody else bought this game from Ideal when they went bust. Mm. I mean, they even had Mr. Frosty bought off them. I mean, yeah, I mean, if somebody will take Mr. Frosty but not this, what does that say? I'm quite disappointed that it is not as strategically sort of advanced as I thought it was going to be. Because no, just because no, I had this. My I had older brothers had this as a kid. I never played it. Properly. I just used to play with the tanks. I'm tempted to do that now. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose you could play sort of a sort of sort of a bit of a Warhammer type thing where you can measure them with a ruler or something. I suppose. So. Dice and that. But again, the fact they're in a corridor doesn't really help. That. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to push this away back just to see some of your okay, tanks. Okay. Well, you can you can destroy my tanks. I've won the war now, so. There we are. They can be decommissioned. Yes. Actually, we're going to sell them to the Argentinians. <laughs> you didn't embrace the battlefield. Sorry. Uh, that's it. You didn't. Re oh, we'll, do, we'll do that properly. Just pretend that didn't happen, ladies and gentlemen. Just give them some sort of human. <laughs> Wouldn't look like I've won something. Ready? Mine's rubbish. I'm so glad that I won because it'll be far <laughs> less. <laughs> that's far less because I might have flipped over sideways. It was just kind of. <laughs> sitting there like a thing. Day is like that, yes. Uh. So there you go, that is tank command, ladies and gentlemen. If you like your own copy, you're an idiot. <laughs> and also it hasn't been sold for 30 years, and so good luck scouring eBay. Uh. Oh well, I lost. I don't like this game. Goodbye. Goodbye.